Mr. Oakwood, I never expected to see you out here. I never really expected to be out here either myself. But we're beginning to get some of the reviews back from good news from the front. Well, yes sir, that was the last movie I made. I'm aware of that. Did you know that the women loved it? No sir, I didn't. Were you aware that the men hated it? No sir, I wasn't. Were you aware that the women were really disappointed when they got home? How so, sir? I, I, I don't understand. When men get dragged to a romantic movie, they're supposed to fall in love with the woman. and They're supposed to get all excited and go home to their wives. And then they have, you know, passion. Well, that didn't happen. I don't understand. Okay. How does the movie end? Uh, 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 Amor, uh, Amor says that she's, she's kind of glad that Stick might get killed off. That's right. She was glad Stick might get killed off. And why do you think the women in the audience were happy? I'm going to tell you why the, they were happy. They didn't like Stick either. That was probably the most pathetic performance he's ever done. In fact, I don't think it could have been done worse if Stick had practiced it. Now here's what you're going to do, and you're going to listen up. Yes, sir. You're going to find the best dating slash sex coach on the internet. And you're going to have them work with Stick until he nails it. Yes, sir. And here's what's going to happen. Stick is going to give a... a a soliloquy, which will make the men in the audience want to sleep with Stick. Not just the women, but the men too. Sir, most of those, uh, most of those demands are not going to be met because, I mean, uh, there's an awful lot of straight guys. That's the point. I want this thing to be so darn good that the straight guys are willing to go crooked. Uh, I think I understand. Well, I'll tell you what. You better get a coach that can that's so darn good she can talk the corruption out of a politician. Is that possible? Well, you better do it. Because if you are not looking for unemployment, the next show better be that good. Yes, Mr. Oakwood, I'll, I'll get on it right away. Okay, Stick. You've had just uh, a whole lot of uh, coaching by the uh, the dating coach. That's right, I sure did. Man, she was pretty hot. I wanted to take her home. She said the same thing about taking you home too, but she was pointing a rifle at you. I don't think she wanted you in her house. Well, that's pretty, that's pretty cold-blooded. Well, be as it may. She's been working with you. Amora, are you ready? I'm ready. Now remember, you're not going to be able to write anything on this script. You just have to go with it. Okay, I can do that. I'm not real happy about it, but I can do that. All right, Stick. Uh, cameraman's coming over. Give us just a minute, and we're going to go ahead and do the recording. Okay, first, I want you two to go ahead and move in close together. Alright, that looks pretty good. Stick, you need to put your hand on her waist. No, 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 not her garbage. Put it on her waist. How does that look on the camera? Not, not so good. It kind of looks like it's a little higher than her waist. Alright, put your hand down just slightly, uh, Stick. we got to get this good for the camera. Oh, that looks great right there. It looks just like he's got his hand on her waist. Okay, Stick. Now turn on the charm. Oh, honey, I'm glad that movie's over. Oh, that was disgusting, wasn't it? It sure was. I wanted to sleep with Amora. That's strange. I wanted to sleep with Stick. We'll be out of the movie theater in just a minute. Maybe we need to talk. I think so. 
You know, I've never wanted to sleep with a woman, but after what Stick said... I know, it's kind of gross, wasn't it? It... It really was. You know, I heard they brought in a coach to teach him. They did. I read it. I, I, I saw it on TV Guide. I wonder what went wrong. It was Stick. All right, we're doing two things here. <coughs> we're trying to achieve a couple of goals. One is leash training. Two, the command to sit, which I tried that twice off camera before I started the camera. And we're doing two things. We're using what's called a food reward, where I give the little guy some food. We're accomplishing the goal. Let's see if I can keep him in the camera. He sat back down, which is good. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Sit. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, dog. Sit. Only give the command one time. If you give it multiple times, the dog will start to only respond with multiple times. So give the command <coughs> give the command one time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up. Up, dog. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Sit. Good dog. Good dog. Come on. Come on. Sit. Sit. Oh, good dog. Good dog. Namedved, it means not there, was born on 26 December around 1130 on a dark and stormy night. No joke. He's uh, the largest of the three. He's also the only white one. Come on. Come on. All right. Sit. Oh, good dog. Good dog, yes, good dog. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, sit. Oh, good dog, good dog. Now I'm going to pause the camera and we're going to um, use food with him.